Hello, you're watching Northern Soul. Today we're doing kinesio taping for uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. I already have another taping video for carpal tunnel, but this is a different taping. So uh, just in case it's one of those things where one type of taping doesn't work, you can try another. And that's pretty general rule of thumb for pretty much all taping. So I'm gonna throw this one, uh, another one at you for those sufferers of carpal tunnel. Um, I feel like this one's really good because it actually um, hits a few points of uh, issue, of concern for a carpal tunnel. So it addresses the whole um, median nerve uh, all the way from like the elbow down. That way, uh, just in case there's something happening uh, higher up than the typical the carpal tunnel uh, syndrome. So it might be something that's very similar, but not specifically carpal tunnel syndrome. So it might address that problem uh, altogether. So that's why we're going to be doing that. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So what you want to do, uh, and I'm going to be doing this myself. So this is what it's going to look like if you're uh, working on yourself there. Hopefully you can see everything. We're going to do, we're going to have one Y strip uh, from the tape, two inch wide. And we're going to start from the, hopefully you can see that, the inside of the uh, elbow. And then it's going to come across to the front, down the forearm, and then it's going to uh, split up into a Y into on the thumb and then the index finger, okay? So I'll discuss it as we're going. So to measure, we'll grab, uh, we'll grab the blue tape here. And what's gonna happen is there's gonna be sections of stretch and there's gonna be sections of no stretch. So up top, up in here, and it catch the inside of the elbow, there's not gonna be any stretch. Uh, or minimal stretch and then it's going to come down this is going to be very fun to do by myself okay and then we're just going to measure down here and then all the way to index finger just before it so that's the length i have what i want to do because there's going to be some considerable stretch as well is i'm going to back that off probably about an eighth or maybe a bit more i'll let's go a little bit longer just in case because if it's short then it's like wearing uh, short pants. Looks like uh, there's a flood going on. And nobody told you, it just looks wrong. Anyways, okay. So I'm gonna round off the end, off one end. There we go. And then I'm gonna make a Y. So this is gonna be about six inches uh, deep. And we're just gonna cut that lengthwise right down the middle. So about, let me do a little bit more. This doesn't have to be exact. So if you go a little bit extra, that's fine. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be cutting it too short. So I cut a little extra. Anyways, and then I'm just gonna round off the ends of the Y. Why? Because. There we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And now uh, we're gonna apply down at the, um, or up at the uh, inside of the elbow first. So I'm just gonna break off the backing. And then I'm gonna have this loose so I can actually apply it, because I'm doing it myself. Now if you were applying it to someone else, you'd probably just um, have an end on it that you can place and then pull the backing off. But because I'm, I'm gonna use gravity to help me out here, uh, a lot of you are gonna be applying this to yourself, by yourself, because one is the loneliest number. Anyways, okay. So uh, right on the inside of, of the elbow, just kind of inside of the biceps, that's where the median nerve kind of will start to come down, at least uh, into the forearm area. So you're gonna have minimal stretch until you get on the inside of the, the top of the forearm there. So I'm just gonna, in minimal stretch is like zero to 20%. So I'm just gonna add just a touch, just to provide just a slight bit of tension. And this, your arm's gonna be straight. Now you could be resting this on a table. I don't have one uh, for the purpose of taping. I mean recording specifically. So I wanna be able to move my arm around and show you. Just, but it should be, um, if you have it relaxed on a table at home, it should be in a position where it's uh, straightened, but you don't feel any numbness tingling, okay? You shouldn't have any issues like that while it's resting. At this point, when we're gonna be heading towards um, the wrist area, what you're gonna to want to do is we're gonna we're gonna add a considerable stretch at this point. So I'm just gonna rip off these ends here so that when I get to the point with the fingers, they'll be separate units, just like that. 
So these parts are going to be heading towards thumb and index finger. So I'm just going to aim it that way. And this is going to be considerable stretch. So we're talking uh, 50 to 75 percent, depending on what your uh, what you can tolerate skin-wise without um, irritation. So I'm going to aim towards it and then place, park right where the wrist is, right there. And then I'm just going to rub that in. So that's a considerable stretch. So you're offloading this whole area, hopefully the median nerve at the same time. To counter, if there's any issues along here, along its uh, route, hopefully you can help any issues that are heading towards uh, the carpal tunnel. Beyond that, we're going to go to, uh, we're going to actually aim at the thumb. So this is uh, pretty much uh, no stretch. Or you can do minimal stretch, so 5 to 20%. But usually I'll just put it to like 5%. So head over to the thumb. Right along the side like that. Do not uh, park the, or do not have the base part over a nail bed. So keep the tape off the nail bed. If you find it's too long, you're going to need to get the scissors out and trim it. Um, you don't want it parked on there. So as you can see, I cut it I cut it really well because I just, just short of it. And this one's going to go towards the index finger, which will probably be a bit short, but whatever. I'm just going to add a little bit more stretch. Like that. All right, so that was a bit of a shorty. But it's fine. The important part's like in the actual carpal tunnel here, and I can still anchor that with another support tape, and then all the way through the the median uh, nerve, uh, how it actually physically moves through the forearm like this. So if you got a bit longer, I would have had to cut that here, but that's fine. Okay. So I'm just going to cut one quick support tape on it. So I'm just going to have just a small tape. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut it lengthwise in half. Around the ends. Orange and blue are complementary colors. I remember that from, what was it, grade 9 art class or something like that. which is, I don't know, they call it the bird course, but I think art, art shouldn't be considered not important. It's part of our culture, right? Makes, makes cultures um, seem more sophisticated and advanced. Anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna tie that down so it just doesn't um, loosen up with you, especially around the finger area, because we use our hands so much. At least I do. Whoops, there we go. So I'm just going to wrap that around with enough stretch to reach the other side, like so. Ta, that's that. So finger, and now I'm going to do the thumb as well. So down at the end, once again, stay away from the nail bed. What? Kind of like that. A little bit of stretch. If you do it long enough, you you do zero stretch. But I didn't make these very long, so I'm going to add a little bit, just so, enough so I can reach the other end. So it looks like that on the hand, but when you turn it over, oh, got the part popping up. I'll rub that in a little better. Look at that. So that's carpal tunnel taping. That's what it looks like. And I got to match in my shirt. So make sure you have all the colors so that you can color coordinate. Fun. All right. Give me a thumbs up uh, if you dig it. And um, comments always welcome, including stuff like, hey, can you show me how to tape this or that? Or you're amazing or whatever. I shouldn't be like telling you what to say, but you can do that. Uh, anyways, um, think about subscribing as well. There's lots of taping on my uh, channel, uh, among other videos. So um, good. All right. So hopefully that helps. Boop, thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.